All right, class, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at solving logarithmic equations. And to solve a log equation, we actually don't leave them as a logarithm. Just like in the last lesson, if we had exponential equations, we turn them into logarithms. Well, here, if it's a log originally as an equation, we want to rewrite it as an exponential. And we do that by, again, the circle pattern, where we start with a 2, raise it to the fifth power, and set it equal to what's left over, which is 2x minus 1. As soon as I do this, the problem gets a lot better. So I just got to figure out what 2 to the 5th is. And if you do that on your calculator, you should get 32 equals 2x minus 1. So now it's just a quick process of adding 1 to both sides. And that should give you 33. So 2x equals 33. And then just divide by 2. And we should get x equals 16.5. Okay, so let's take a look at one that's a little bit more complicated, not much more, and we got to take 2, raise it to the 4th power, so 2 to the 4th power equals x plus 5 to the 3rd. Now this time, we actually need to get rid of the cube, okay, well there's two ways I can do it, I can, well the best way, the easiest way, is to go ahead and take 2 and raise it to the 4th power, so that'll give me 16, and that equals x plus 5 to the third power. So from here, what I want to do is to get rid of that third, I've got to cube root it. So I cube root both sides, and this cancels. And I'll get the cube root of 16, which is 2.5198, equals x plus 5. So all I have to do to finish is just subtract 5. Okay. And that should give me x equals negative 2.48. Okay. Now sometimes we'll have log equations that are logs equal to another log. Now as long as the log is the same base, right here, as the other log, and you've just got stuff on the inside, and a 3 over here, well if, these, if this part of the log is the same, then that must mean that this part, of the logs are the same. In other words, we don't even need the logs. We can just drop the logs. Just like last lesson where we, I was showed you you could add logs, we can drop logs here and just rewrite this as 6x plus 1 is equal to 3. So this log problem actually got really simple in a hurry and all I have to do is subtract 1 from both sides and I get 6x equals 2 and then just divide by 6 and I get x equals, if I reduce that, 1 third. So not, not a bad problem at all here. And sometimes it gets a little more complicated, where I've got three different logs. Well, I can't just drop all the logs, although we might want to, yet, anyway. I'm going to drop the logs, but I can only drop the logs when I have it written like this, where it's just one log on both sides. Well, we've learned in previous lessons that we can actually take multiple logs and rewrite them as one. So that happens when I see subtraction. Now notice this first log is a positive one, the second one's a negative log. So I want to write this side as one log, so log, and then the positive log stuff gets on top, so by the way it's log base 5, of a fraction bar. So I put 3t plus 2 on top, and then this t goes on the bottom. Now that's equal to log base 5 of 4. Now, at this step, I can look at the fact that they're both the same log and get rid of those logs, and I'm just left with 3t plus 2 over t equals 4, okay? Which means I can put this over a 1, and I can cross-multiply, okay? The 4 and the t, and then the 3t plus 2 times the 1, which means I should get 3t plus 2 equals 4t. Okay, and now I solve like normal by subtracting the 3t, sorry that's supposed to be a t, and then that gives me 2 equals t, and that's your answer. So here's another example where I need to compress first, actually, sorry that's the same example. Let's take a look at this example, which is actually different. So now I've got a plus sign, and so I'm still going to compress the logs, 
I've got log of 5x plus this 2x minus 1, so I'm going to actually put them together on the same level, which means they're on top of the fraction bar. 5x goes right next to this 2x minus 1, but I need to keep my parentheses. Equals log 4. So see again, the plus sign made there be multiplication. They both went on the top. Now, what happens is I can cross out my logs, and I'm left with 5x times 2x minus 1 equals 4. So now, I need to distribute and solve for x. So that's going to give me 10x minus 5x equals 4. And now, this just turned into a quadratic, which means I need to move this 4 over here and get this set equal to 0. So it's 10x minus 5x minus 4 equals 0. And now I need to solve by my quadratic methods. Hopefully it factors. If it doesn't factor, then I need to use quadratic formula. So let's check to see if it factors. So I would multiply the 10 and the negative 4 on top, and that should give me negative 40. I just put the negative 5 on the bottom, and so I'm supposed to think of numbers that multiply to be 40 that add to be 5. And by the way, these are supposed to be squared. Um, but regardless, I can't think of anything that factors or that multiplies to be 40 that adds to be 5. So what that looks like is we've got to do quadratic formula. So we take negative, negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be negative 5 squared, minus 4 times 10 times negative 4, all over 2 times the 10. Okay. So I would just go ahead and plug this into my calculator at this step, because I don't really need the simplified uh, number, I just want the decimal. So if you punch it in your calculator, you should get 18.6 over 20 and then negative 8.6 over 20. What I did was I punched the top into the calculator with a plus sign and I got the 18.6 and then I punched it in the calculator with a minus sign and you should get the negative 8.6. So the actual final decimal should be negative 0.43 over here and then over here my other answer should be 0.93. Now, again, the 0.93 is the only answer I really care about because we don't like negative answers with logs. So 0.93 would be your final answer for this particular problem. And again, sorry you had to end up using quadratic formula, but that's because, again, we end up distributing the 5x and getting a squared, an x squared. x squared means you either have to do magic x or quadratic formula if it doesn't factor. Okay, so let's take a look at one more that does turn out to be a uh, quadratic, potentially. And so... Notice we've both got log 2's on this side. There's no log on this side. So let's check this out. We've got to compress this so that we have log, just one log, base 2 of x plus 2 times x. Okay? Equals 3. Now this time, I can't just drop the logs. This time, I actually have to take my 2 and raise it to the third power. So 2 to the third. In other words, I'm going exponential, turning to exponential form equals this x plus 2 times x. Okay, so again, the first time thing I had to do was rewrite it as a single log, and then I can go exponential. Now I need to work it out. 2 to the third is 8 equals, i got to distribute this, so it's x squared plus 2x. And then I subtract my 8 over, and I get 0 equals x squared plus 2x plus 8. And so then again, I hope that it factors, which of course this one doesn't, just like the last one. I, and so I need to do quadratic formula, negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8, all over 2 times the 1, the A. Okay, and then you go ahead and punch in your calculator. And when you punch in your calculator, you should end up with a problem right here, because... Um, this will give you a negative sign, and your calculator should give you an error, okay? Which um, means that this is a negative in here. In other words, you've got a square root of a negative, so it's negative 2 plus or minus the square root of a negative inside there. And that turns into an imaginary number, and we can't have imaginaries with logs. So this one actually has no solution.